Welcome back to Just Scribble for a quick unboxing from Goat Girl Goodies on Etsy. So a while back I was watching Mary Ellen from Planning with Bumble and she used this super cute black and white polka dot washi that she had bought from Goat Girl Goodies and I decided that I would check out her shop and see what she had and she has tons of awesome washi options. But I really actually wanted to get black and white washi because it is a staple in my planner spreads and she had some really cute black and white washies and so I decided to place an order for some black and white washi and it has come and I wanted to unbox it with you guys and share it. I'm gonna take off the plastic so it's not too loud. This is the card that came with her order. She has over 500 different washi tapes in her shop. And these are the links to all of her different social media outlets. I will put them down below in the description box as well. And then she gave me this little note with it thanking me for my order. And she actually included a free washi tape in my order, which was super, super sweet. So this is actually the free washi and these are the six washi tapes that I ordered. So we're just gonna go through them real quick and I'm gonna swatch them out. This one is a black and white stripe. It is kind of an off white, not a pure white. And I really liked this because it is a horizontal stripe, which is very unique, I think, for washi. I don't see a black and white horizontal stripe washi like this very often in different shops. So I got that one. And once it's on the paper, it really is white. It's just on the roll, it looks a little bit off-white, but it is sort of translucent, so it does show up white. The next one I got was this sort of speckle dot one. I loved this washi the minute I saw it. I might have to order a second roll of it. I just love the pattern of this and how it's not symmetrical or balanced. It's just kind of all over the place. And I think it is a great washi to layer with other washies. So that is the sort of speckled one. And I'll put the names of all of these down below so that you can check them out. This one is a white checkered on black background it is sort of a scribbled checkered like hand drawn the next one is a stripe that goes in varying directions so it's diagonal and then up and down and I love thin washi and I loved in particular that this one varied its directions just for a little bit of texture on your planner pages Next is similar to the black with the white checks. It is white with black checks in a sort of hand-drawn or doodled check pattern. I use checkered washi a lot in my planners and I like that these are sort of freehand. And then the last one I got is not actually black and white. It is a rainbow metallic with little dots and it is also a thin washi and I absolutely loved it. I love the metallic dots on it, I love the color pattern, and I love the thinness of it. So it goes through the colors of the rainbow and it's so pretty. And then this is the freebie washi she sent, which was so nice. I can find the end, I can swatch it for you. And I actually really like this washi. I really like the pattern of this and I really appreciate that she sent me a black and white washi as my freebie since the majority of my order was black and white. So it definitely goes with the theme of what I ordered and this is a very unique pattern. I think it's gonna look really pretty in my planner spreads. So that is my order from Goat Girl Washi. It shipped very, very fast, and she has, like I said, over 500 washi tapes. She had awesome selections. There were a bunch of washies that I really wanted to snag, but I thought for this order, for my first order, I would focus on the black and whites that are a staple in my planner layouts. So that is my unboxing of my washi with some swatches so you could check them out and see how they looked on paper. If you have any questions about this unboxing or the washi, please don't hesitate to comment below. I'll put links to each of the washies and to her shop and all of her social media outlets down below in the description box. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.